Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Ilio HE3S Plus uh, model year 2023. They haven't changed. Uh, they're the same as last year, really. Uh, great little trailer, 460 pounds. It's 11 foot long. That's including the tongue. It's a bed for two, if you really love each other. It's 48 inch wide by six foot in length. Uh, it's designed to be towed behind very small vehicle, uh, four wheeler side by side, larger motorcycle. That's the market for this little guy, and it sells very well. Now, as you can see, there's a tent attached to it. It's a non shed, but we bring them in always with the tent feature because it just makes so much sense. And I think you'll you'll see why when we get around uh, to look at the interior. Well, we'll we'll just start at the front. Uh, there's not much here. Uh, it's an aluminum framing underneath. Uh, the, there's an upgraded floor on this HE3S Plus model. Upgraded axle and upgraded size wheel. But at the front here is where your battery is going to go. So it does come with a deep cycle battery. It's not very wide. It's uh, just a little over 48 inch for the shell. Once you get the axle on each side, it gives you an idea of... Uh, of the overall width. Um, a couple of vents here we get to see that's for your AC believing it or not there is an air conditioning in this unit. Frameless windows really like the look. Aluminum fenders, aluminum wheels, 13 inch tires, torsion axles on that. There's two uh, jacks at the back. It's actually um, an upgrade from the standard bill. It normally comes with one in the middle but we get uh, to put one on each side. Our tent, it's 10 foot wide, 6 foot tall, and 6 foot deep. So it gives us a pretty big area. But before we go in, I just want to show you what's on this side of the trailer. There is a power outlet. 30 amp service. Even though this is a little trailer, it doesn't need it, but they still provide you with a 30 amp service. And there is a connection here for a solar panel. So it would be a portable solar panel if you're dry camping in the woods somewhere and you don't want the battery to run out and, and your light to not function anymore. You can just put a little solar panel out and it will charge that battery, uh, no problem. Both windows come with screen as well. And it's awning style, so you can leave them open if it rains. Now let's peek at the interior of this little guy. So 10 foot wide, there's enough room for a couple of chairs, little table, maybe even a little barbecue, your hiking gear, whatever you want to bring along. Uh, it's a pretty nice uh, addition. It's like a, a very high-end tent material. Takes about two minutes to put up. Once you've done it a couple times, even faster. Back door is... Uh, basically the same as any RV door and there's a screen as well so ventilation in this little trailer will come from a roof vent, two windows and the back door if you choose to leave it uh, open. Now we talked about our, our bed, it's 48 inch across by 72 inch in length. I'm gonna get in there point out a few things. We have our converter that's where your fuses are, 12 volt and 110. We have a battery disconnect. If you're not using it for a little while, you flip this switch to the off position and the battery won't drain. Power outlets, USB outlets, uh, a cigarette lighter outlets. There's a little shelf here and there's your AC right here on the side. And by the entrance, we have a, uh, a fire extinguisher and there's a smoke detector on the wall as well. Double intensity light and the roof vent. It will come with a couple of Velcroed blackout curtain and an adapter to go from your 30 amps that's on the side to just a regular extension cord 15 amps. It's a beautiful unit. So folks, uh, there's not much to see in a little trailer like that. Not much to talk about but uh, they're very popular, so people like to um, just carry their bed with them. Basically, they want to go places, sometimes do road trips.
they buy one of those and if they don't find an hotel room but at least they got a, a place to uh, to sleep we have customers that actually use it to bring their bicycle to do bicycle trips uh, so they got a place to sleep they got a place to hold their bike as well so there's all kinds of usage folks uh, <laughs> if you have any questions give us a call I think we've done it thanks for watching